Hello everybody and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we took on a boss onslaught of enemies. In this episode, we're going to continue up Ganon's Tower. I heard magic drop there. Anyways. Ah, yes, this one. One. I hate how there's this, like, a separate zooming cutscene for each of them. Three and four. Shut up. Oh, what? It didn't even let me open. It didn't even let me open the damn thing. Anyways, as you saw there, there were four shapes there. Uh, four hit things that we can. that symbolize of order. And I hate how they redo the exact same order in the other room. This is like, really? And this is the final dungeon. It's one of those things where they should. pretty much. um figure out on your own pretty damn easily. Now by hitting all four of those... Now one thing I don't get, where the hell did he come from? Like he just appears out of nowhere. You can't even go out there. I see, so that's the portal which, from which Ganon used to be able to seep into the unseparation unsuspecting world above. <clears throat> Link, we m shall make sure to use this path to kind of create him for himself. If there's anything from the world above that you believe you need, then climb into the boat and enter the Column of Darkness. Yes, this is a way to get back to the world above, but I have everything I need. In fact, I don't even need rupees anymore. Anyways, what we're actually supposed to do, we can't actually break that thing right there at all, at least not yet. What we're actually supposed to do is jump off here and enters kind of a maze. And look at what we got here. Now, every time his sword drops, always follow what direction it points to. Because it's one of these mazes. To be specific, one hit actually just kind of... Yeah, it's just a giant tennis match after tennis match. That, wow, that actually does two hearts. Starry. Um, you follow this quite a few times till you get to a room. Get it. Wow. To be specific, I think there is a set path. What the? Okay, that was just unfair. Yeah, 
You think he'd learn after how many tries? Ah, yes, this is the room that we want. After five, I believe it was? You come to this room. That ain't good. He actually learned! Now, as you can see, we now have a chest. What could this chest be? We got the light arrow. This... I'll show this a bit later. Oh yeah, I want the uh, bow. <laughs> I'm gonna take that off because I've shown off all the bosses. It wasn't actually the main reason why I even shoved it on. Exiting out of there, we'll teleport b us back here. Now, you may be thinking, what are you supposed to do now? I need to time those spin attacks better. Way better. I'm actually getting my ass ended to me. I am not going to die! To be specific, there are replenishable stuff around here. Oh. Now, one... I basically wasted so much time. One light arrow completely gets rid of something that we had... we could not destroy. Now, if that wasn't enough, the arrow will is also something more awesome. Taking his sword to this thing will actually destroy it, which allows us to continue. And as it was on his sword. Yeah, one thing I don't get is what is with Ganon and his towers being so bloody huge other than being an egotist. Give me those damn hearts. Oh my. For the most part, a lot of stuff will replenish stuff here and there. In fact, the. Now, this is to equivalent of how powerful the light arrows are. Dark Nook took, takes about 8 hits. The later arrows! Instant kill. Yeah. As some people would refer to it as the weapon of rape. I 
And I love it so. It destroys everything in one shot, practically, except for one specific individual. Cough. I need more hearts. I'm amazed of how much magic and error replenish they've given us. Mainly magic. Well, then again. Um, to be specific... Actually, does it actually show? Arrows take about... Uh, from what I can remember, uh, fire and ice arrow take like 2 MP compared to other Zelda games, and light arrows take 4. I love that insta-kill. I miss. I hit him in the garage. Um, if I'm correct, all the enemies that are leading up here, or just the two dark nuts, I'm not sure which ones, are required to actually continue on. More arrow replenish, a fairy, which I have full on again. More magic, and magic. Do you sleep still? Sleep still? Yeah. Wait. Do not be hasty, boy. I can see the girl's dreams. Oceans, 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 oceans. Oceans as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas. None can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. What do, uh, did the king of Hyrule say? The gods sealed the Hyrule away? And they left behind the people who would one day awaken Hyrule? How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures Scattered across a handful of islands, drifting on the, the the sea like fallen leaves on a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? Do they... don't you see? All of you? Your gods destroyed you. I have been watching you... F watching for you. I've been waiting for you. God. Ugh. Or one like you, yes, for the hero. Do not betray my expectations. Sweet mother of God, did he just have gross shirts? Hello to Puppet Ganon. To be honest, even though how big he is and everything, it's not that threatening. Now what you're supposed to do is take a boomerang. Now after all the strings are cut, it will actually detach stuff, so it's always a good idea to do. It takes about approximately two hits to actually detach the strings. 
Wow, I'm amazed that works. Anyways, and once that ball is easily visible to hit, if I can hit it, it more or less resets them. Um, this goes on for, wow, this more or less goes on for a couple waves, couple waves I guess would be the right word. Uh, the keys that spawn around here will give you stuff to actually... Oh, come on! The moment I... Yay, easier time. Come on. There. Yeah, <laughs> it, it moving made it take out two of them. I hate that. Just it just wastes so much time. Yeah, fuck. Uh, that slow moving fist was kind of random. I'm so bad with just quick shot with the uh, bow and arrow. Now after the third hit. Say hello to the second form of Puppet Ganon. Now this one's a bit different. Basically, it's... This one's a lot easier than the last one, like, ridiculously. Like, I already got the first hit off. Killed all the bats. And done already. I always hate the first form of the fact that it's always annoying trying to deal with it. The second form is just a joke if known how to do it right. And then this. Now, this is something that I've been waiting to show for quite a bit. If you actually take some baits, check it down on the ground, and it will go straight after it. It's just like one of the randomest secrets, but it works. Oh, come on. 
come on! More or less, if you stand right here, you won't get affected by it, so I'm running out of magic. I always find the first form much more annoying to deal with half the time. I'm getting screwed over. Um, I think you always need light arrows to actually do it, so... I'm amazed he's missing me. He's slowly raping me. It's kind of annoying. Magic. God damn it. I don't know why I always find this technique like actual usable. It's kind of funny. Nyeh nyeh! Wow, I can't actually hit the thing with... Move, move! God damn it! Yeah, I don't think so. I need to use magic. That's it. I'm having more trouble with this than I should. There! <laughs> you surely... Yes, surely you are the hero of time. Reborn. Your time has come. Come now. Stand before me. Show off. I want levitation abilities. You know, as you see there, there's actually a warp pot. Come on. Are you serious? It's going to make me jump onto it. Yes, yeah, it's a basic rope. Uh, more or less, want to climb all the way up. I never noticed of how weird the grabbing animation is. And Link's little serious face.
Now, I think we may be a bit trapped here, but... Surprisingly, there's actually some hook shotable, well, clapping hook -able areas like this right here. It's just a lot of climbing up to the middle part, just up top. Ooh, pots. Destroy the pots. Now, where's the next point that we gotta use? Oh, wait, I think it's that right there. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Now, over here... Got another warp point, which makes things, like, stupidly easy. For the most part, now you can always get down from from the bottom all the way up here just instantly if you were to ever go back and actually like restock on stuff but I don't need to restock no 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 oh. and just in case it's something stupid like that happens it's just the warp is just it's one of the most convenient ones hey Respond. Yay, I can fill up my berries. The thing's warping around my body again. Now I want to take this off of my hotkeys. I am ready with four fairies, which I'm probably not going to eat. I'm Depending on how good I do this flight, I probably only need one. Wow, you can like hookshot all over that thing. And next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we go and face Ganon himself.